Yeah, well, it's such a pleasure to not only work at Fox, but for Fox Nation to want to highlight Ainsley's Bible Studies, which um, they came to me with. I'm so impressed with this. I, I love that they did, and they allow me to talk about my faith on Fox Nation. So it's available right now. The latest installment is awesome. This time, we're hearing from a wonderful group of women. There they are right there, all reflecting on how they stay true to their faith. Some of them found faith in college while going to school on woke college campuses. It's so poignant. You said your junior year, Megan's junior year, my junior year is when I became woke. There's something about that age, 21, that's so significant. It's that turning point for yeah. most college students. My One of the lies I believed was that my identity should be found in my gender, my sexuality, my race, all of these exterior things, but really our identity is in God. And I just, I wanted to share that because I think that for anyone that might be young and listening, our identity is in God and in our faith. Annabella Rockwell, we interviewed her on Fox and Friends because she was at Mount Holyoke School right. and she became really woke, went home and told her mom that she should be woke, that she grew up in a time when women were suppressed. And then her mom hired that deprogrammer right. to give her advice. She was able to talk to her daughter. Her daughter's gone back to her faith and, and you know, regrets all that. And she and her mom are very close. They all have amazing stories. One who was in the middle, Amber, she grew up in a Christian household. Dad's pastor. She became student body president of Miami Dade. And she is a huge leader. She works at Turning Point. Annabella works at Prager U. And then the other girl on the far right, her name's Megan. She is a Mount Holyoke student and found God there. So check it out. Stories. Fox Nation right now. All right.